You are watching Entertainment Was, and this is the awesome Lauren Platt. How will I know if he really loves me? I say a prayer with every heartbeat. Do you always change up your covers when you sing them, when you perform them? I do like to change up my covers. It gives yeah. sort of like especially on X Factor, it gives yep. the judges a little bit of a different thing to hear because the amount of people that must go on there and sing Whitney is absolutely ridiculous. Yep. So make it a little bit different, make sure sort of stick in their head a little bit. Yeah. Yes, you got a you got a standing ovation. How did you feel about that? I didn't even I didn't even see it at first. It wasn't until I sort of came off stage. My mum and dad were like, you, you got stand ovation. Yep. I was like, did I? Did I actually? Like, it's, it was all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Oh. So you did perform a Whitney song. Um, and what made you choose that song? Um, to be honest, you like when you're when you're, you're like in the audition process, you everything you hear, yeah. you're like, oh, could I do that? Oh, could I do that? And literally, I've got two books at home okay. full of just notes and notes yeah. and things I could do and things that won't work, things that will work, literally. And then, like, sort of by the end of it, you sit down yeah. and you think, like, what could I make out of these? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's I sort of came up with that in the end. <laughs> so was it like, was your mum well happy when she heard, like, you're going to do Whitney? Because obviously, like, you're still young and it must have been a song that was a hit in her days or something. Well, my mum, my mum and dad knew what song I was singing, but they hadn't actually heard my version of it. Okay. So before I, they hadn't heard it before I went on yeah. and sung it, so they were really, really nervous to hear it because obviously it's a Whitney song, like yeah. it'll be a hard song to sing. And um, so I went on there, and they were like, before I went on, they were like, we haven't actually heard you sing it yet. Oh and I was God. like, it's a surprise. Yeah. Leave it now. Yeah. And then I sung it, and they they couldn't have been happier with it. So. Oh, uh, and um, do you actually know how big the Spice Girls were? Do you remember as a child, like, do you remember Spice Girls? I went to see them in concert once. Yeah. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you how old I was. It, that was a bit of a blur as well, to yeah. be honest. I was quite young. Um, my mum my mum loved them, but they're like, they're the Spice Girls. Like, yeah. you don't get more famous than the Spice Girls. Everyone exactly, knows who they are, so. Yeah. So, um, you, all the judges loved you. Now, who is your favourite judge? I don't know. I don't think I have one in like in particular favorite yeah. judge. There's they're all like good for their different reasons. Simon's like Simon, yeah. so he's just amazing because he's the boss. Yeah. Cheryl, I feel like Cheryl would relate to me. She's like she's course, obviously a girl yeah. at first, and um, she went through this process yeah. of doing a talent competition, and she knows how hard it is and how yeah. much pressure, but also how amazing it is at the same time. Yeah. Um, Mel's honest. I love Mel for yeah. being honest. And to be honest, she hasn't had a bad word to say yeah. about me. So, again, I love her for that. Well, why would they have a bad thing to say about you, Lauren? You're awesome. So who did you want to impress the most? Um, I'd, I, Obviously, you go on there, you want to impress all of them. You don't want to hear anything yeah, yeah. bad come out of any of their mouths. But I think the hardest ones to impress are Mel and Simon. Okay. Yeah. So they're the ones you were like, oh, man, what are they going to say? Yeah, they're the ones that when I was singing, I was like looking at their faces like, what do you reckon they think of me? Yeah. So if you do go to the final 12, whose group would you want to be in? I'd love, I'd love to be in Simon's group because obviously he is the boss and he could guide, like he could guide you so, so well. But I, I do feel like Cheryl would relate to me like a yeah. lot, like the girls category. I feel like she'd relate to us a, a lot. So yeah. Yep. Have you dreamt about personal moment, like per, a bit of personal time with Cheryl Cole yet? I, just, I all I want to do is just hug her. I just, if I get a chance to hug her, I'd be like so excited. I'll probably just like leap on her. <laughs> Have you been a fan of a recent song that crazy? I love crazy, crazy love. stupid love. Literally, it is the first song yeah. on my SoundCloud, and I refuse to like anything else for the time being. So that is the first one that comes yeah. on every time I put my SoundCloud on. Yeah. I really, really like it. So you are 16. Um, do you think you can manage with the stress and um, everything that comes with it, basically? I think I could handle it, handle all the stress and the pressures and stuff. Because like what what I what I say is even. All the things that the people don't yeah. see, like all the tears backstage and the rehearsing and yeah. the sorting out and the worrying, yeah. being able to perform does yeah. make it all worth it. Make like just those moments make all the backstage rubbish all worth it. So yeah. yeah. 
Uh, has there has it been tough though for you recently? It ha- yeah, it has it has been tough, but it's like a good tough. It's like a you, like you want it to be tough. Like you feel like you're working so hard, and when you achieve it, like when you sort of like get through your rooms and your arenas, you're like, wow, I worked really yeah. really hard for that, and you feel really good about it. Yeah. So yeah. So um, you lived in Spain for around ten years. Do you feel like because you lived in Spain, like in such a tropical place, like? Again, like you also moved a, moved around a lot of schools. Um, do you feel like because your life was the way it is, that's why your voice is better? Like, were there times when you felt down and all you did was sing to make you feel better, make make yourself feel better? To be honest, I could be down, I could be angry, I could be happy, I could be anything, and I'll just sing. Yeah. Like, I won't even know I'm singing. But I think I think sort of like moving around a lot has sort of made me grow up a little yeah. bit more than like being 16 yeah. sort of, and that, I think that's why I can handle like the pressures and stuff like that that it brings yeah okay so you used to work in a pub right yeah. so you're quite confident yeah. publicly and just generally you're confident yeah. right now if you um, bumped in imagine you didn't go to ZX Factor and if you bumped into the judges on some random street how would you get their attention Lauren sing I just sing but no but how they're just walking like how would you get their attention you would sing, but you know how some is. You might just be like, hey, here we go, there's another one. How would you, like, get their attention? Just be like, Simon, come on, please, yeah. come on. And then I'd sing, and then hopefully he'd be like, yeah, all right, yeah, I'll listen to you. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, all right, now, if you got down to the bottom three, who would you like to do a duet with? So I, so many people ask me this question. I yeah. honestly, honestly don't know. Like, I think... I'd love to do some like a duet with someone that's sort of a bit like me, like someone like Ella Rare. Like she's, yep. she, I don't think she's far off my age. Yep. Like obviously she's not 16, but she's, she's quite young and and I love love her music. Yep. So like I know a lot of people would say people like Beyonce and don't get me wrong, yep. I would kill to do duet, duets with yep. Beyonce and stuff. But I think sort of like me and for example someone like Ella Rare, could, we could fix something up. We could fix something <laughs> up. <laughs> yep. And what about a US star? Or Ella is UK. What about a US star? Um, US star, I don't really know. Yeah, probably like Beyonce. Mm-hmm. People like that. I'm going to go big. I'm going to go, I'm going to say Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs>